Good morning. Today we will be discussing formations in order of movement, more commonly known as FOOM. First, let me familiarize you with this board. The left side of the board addresses team file. The right side of the board addresses team column. In both cases, the 12 o'clock of the unit is towards the top of the board and they're moving in that direction. Additionally, this board denotes the position of each member of the reconnaissance team in formation, but is not personalized. It is highly advised that when you brief your soldiers in person, that you mark their name next to each position. So in this case, the team file would be marked with the names of the soldiers. This clarifies the formation and allows soldiers to focus on their individual responsibilities during execution. Additionally, as ATP 3-21.8, the Infantry Platoon Squad states, using formations allows soldiers to execute battle drills quickly and gives them the assurance that their leaders and buddy team members are in the expected positions and performing the right tasks. This is critical in low visibility and chaotic environments. Focus now on the team file. The team file is used to prioritize speed at the expense of security. In this case, soldiers will be no closer than five meters together in order to mitigate the effects of surprise attacks, especially grenades. The kill radius of a grenade is five meters. By maintaining this spacing, a grenade will do significantly less damage to the unit as a whole. The file is designed to place the SSO, or Senior Scout Observer, in the lead, where he can conduct land navigation and route selection for the unit most effectively. The automatic rifleman, or saw gunner, follows behind him. This is to allow immediate automatic fire to the 12 o'clock in the case of contact to the front. Behind the saw, the team leader follows. This position is optimal for the team leader because it maximizes his control of the unit while still placing him far enough forward to make critical decisions if contact is made. The RTO follows him in order to provide redundant FM communications with hire. The two scout observers follow the RTO. This places the ARTO, or assistant RTO, next to the ATL, or assistant team leader. The ATL is placed in the rear of the formation in order to maintain accountability during movement and for counter tracking. There are four explicit advantages of the file. First, the control that it allows the team leader. There is almost no chance of elements becoming separated during movement. Second, that it has the ability to generate a maneuver element with the front four soldiers. However, this element does not have immediate separation from the trail element, and to gain that separation, it will have to move aggressively. Third, the file has secure flanks. The entire file can turn immediately to the right or left and employ all eight of the team's weapons against a threat. Fourth and finally, the file has significant speed. Only one path needs to be cleared, and hence route selection is greatly expedited. The file has some disadvantages. First, it has reduced ability to achieve fire superiority to the front. In order to generate significant firepower to the 12 o'clock, the team has to conduct a deliberate react contact. Second, the file clears a limited area and concentrates the unit. This means that the file is unsuitable for reconnoitering large areas while moving. Third, the file transitions poorly to bounding overwatch, or base of fire and assault elements. Bounding overwatch requires two separate elements, each overwatching the other's movements as the element moves into contact. The file maintains a single element and is thus unsuitable. Finally, the file's depth means that a single machine gun can easily achieve enflayed fire of the entire element. Enflayed fire occurs when the long axis of the machine gun's beaten zone coincides or nearly coincides with the long axis, excuse me, axis of the target. A file will look similar to this in the real world, assuming that these soldiers were traveling off the road and through the vegetation. Direct your attention to team column now. This formation is used when the situation is uncertain. It allows fire to be readily directed in any direction and disperses the unit across the terrain. It is composed of two separate maneuver elements, each composed of a fire team wedge. Each member of the team is five to 10 meters apart, 45 degrees from the soldier ahead of him. The two wedges are separated by 20 meters when traveling or 50 meters during traveling overwatch. The additional separation of traveling overwatch allows the team to make contact with the smallest element possible and provide the team leader necessary standoff to flank with the other element as needed. The lead wedge is composed of the SSO, TL, SAW, and RTO. The lead wedge is composed in this way to allow the SSO to conduct land navigation and route selection, the SAW to provide immediate suppressive fire to the 12 o'clock, 
the team leader to control the element, and the RTO to provide redundant communications for the team leader. The rear wedge is composed of the ARTO, ATL, and both SOs. The ATL is second from the rear to allow him to control the wedge while maintaining accountability of his entire team. In a situation in which the wedge is employed, counter-tracking will play a reduced role, if any. Additionally, the horizontal footprint of the team is larger than the ATL would be able to cover himself. Thus, the ATL does not need to be the final member of the team, as he would be in a file. There are four advantages to a team column of fire team wedges. First, the TL has control of his element given his central position. He can maintain this control even in restrictive terrain as each member of the team has visual contact with the soldier closest to them. However, in severely restricted terrain, the team will have to collapse back into a file. This is done easily as the file and team column support each other by the placement of their personnel. Second, the elements of the column can easily transition to either a base of fire or assault element in the case of a reactive contact drill that is followed by a squad attack. The tactical versatility of team column provides options to the team leader. Third, the column is secure to the front and flanks, as fires from one of the fire teams can easily be massed in a react to contact. No matter what direction the formation is attacked from, there are never fewer than four weapons that can immediately be oriented in that direction without fear of fratricide. Fourth, as mentioned earlier, the team column easily transitions to file. It can also easily transition to line by the trail element moving to the right or left of the lead element to place the entire team on line. There are two primary disadvantages to the team column. First, the trail elements are required to clear their own path forwards. That is, while in file, the SSO clears a path that all team leaders can follow. However, in a column, each team member is clearing their own path forwards. This slows movement. Second, there's a frequent need to transition to go file in restricted terrain. While in some restricted terrain, the element will be able to move in a column, there will be instances that the terrain becomes severely restricted and the team must collapse back to a file. Any change in formation is accompanied by a temporary slowdown in movement as the element readjusts their spacing. Overall, Team Column of Fire Team Wedges provides versatility and options to the team leader that allow him to react to multiple situations on the ground. The final formation we will address is the Platoon Column of Team Wedges. This formation is simple in that both teams in the platoon are in a team column of team wedges on either side of the headquarters element, which is in a diamond formation. This formation allows the platoon 360 degree security, two separate maneuver elements with which to react to contact, and an even distribution of firepower. Note that the teams are arrayed as opposites. If the lead team's saw is on the right, the trail team's saw is on the left. This is true for all soldiers in the column as it ensures an even distribution of men, weapons, and equipment in the column. Note also that there is always a gap between the elements, either a 20 meter gap between the lead team and the HQ element while traveling, or a 50 meter gap in traveling overwatch. There is always a 20 meter gap between the headquarters element and the trail team in both traveling and traveling overwatch. The platoon will use this formation unless there is severely restricted terrain, in which case the teams will be deployed directly to their objectives and will travel in file. The HQ element will likewise travel in a file. Finally, due to the reduced footprint and specific mission set of a reconnaissance platoon, this formation will be used infrequently and will be the only platoon formation employed. Note, however, that line infantry platoons have a much greater variety of formations due to their increased mission set. This presentation has addressed the following. First, the three principal formations employed by Sea Troop Reconnaissance Platoons, Team File, Team Column of Fire Team Wedges, and Platoon Column. Second, the reasoning behind the placement of men, weapons, and equipment in the formations. Third, the advantages and disadvantages of each formation and the times when they can be best employed. In preparing this presentation, the following resources were used. For questions or comments, email charlietrooptactics at outlook.com.